Now, if you're considering buying yourself a Rolls-Royce but want something a bit different, you may be interested to know the luxury car brand is now offering customers the chance to not only choose interiors, colour and materials, but also the very shape and design of the car. Before automation and mass production, so-called coach building was the way motor cars were made. Now, Rolls-Royce is bringing that division back. Earlier, Juliette Mann spoke to CEO Torsten Müller-Otvoss to find out more. The idea you see here behind is not Rolls-Royce's idea, that's the client's idea, because that's basically the whole idea around coach build. The client commissions its own body and every detail of the car, and then Rolls-Royce Motor Cars builds it. That is very different from bespoke, where you just take a normal, regular Rolls-Royce and then you individualize it, but you can't change anything with the body. Here, you are commissioning a complete new body. So what could my dream car uh, of the future look like? I mean, are we talking diamonds, a, a particular color, a, a certain fabric on the interior? Your imagination is our limit. Uh, uh, I say that very often, and uh, whatever you want is possible. Uh, there's one little disclaimer I need to say. It needs to be road legal, road proof. Otherwise, you would not be allowed to drive the car. Now, I've been saving up, Torsten, and I know you don't usually reveal the prices of your limited edition cars, but, you know, are we talking seven figures, six figures? Give me a ballpark here so I know how far off I am. No, oh, we are Rolls Royce, we are not talking. I give you a little hint. Uh, uh, the former first coach build project uh, was speculated around 15 to 16 million, and uh, not too bad to say it like that. And rest assured that this car here is far more delicate and far more difficult to build and also far more costly to build. So for that reason, you can imagine that the price sticker is above. And you've talked about your clients as Rolls-Royce Motors lifeblood. So who are they? Where do they come from? I think when I look into uh, our business today, it is nicely balanced between West and East. So you can say that the entire Asian markets, including China, accounts for 40 percent, the North American market for 35 percent, and then the rest is Europe and Middle East. So nicely balanced, and uh, this is how it should be. When the pandemic got over its, let's say, crucial peak point, that people suddenly recognized that you only live once, and you want to enjoy your life now, and not maybe postpone that to later. And I think that is also quite a new trend, I must say, that people are now really happy to spend uh, uh, their wealth for uh, luxury and for very indulging projects. Now, the pandemic didn't seem to make much of a dent in your sales, almost as if you said before that the wealthy have dodged the economic fallout of the pandemic. So what's your outlook for luxury car makers in general and for Rolls-Royce in particular? I mean, last year, uh, to be here very clear, we also have seen quite a dent because what happened? We closed the plant for two months, rightly so, to protect our employees. And for that reason, we have seen probably a 20 percent uh, dent in our projected sales for 2020. But since the fourth quarter, we have seen an unbelievable order intake. And I can tell you that our production is already fully booked for the entire year 2021 with customer orders. And uh, that makes me quite optimistic already for 2021. So if nothing breaks seriously in the world, I see that trend at least to maintain for next year and uh, to run on a, let's say, new level of business.